Hello viewers and welcome to today's quest, Priest in Peril. I can start this quest by speaking to King World in Varrock Palace. You must be able to defeat several level 30 things, including a mutt and a few monks. Well, hopefully only one monk, but hey, knowing my drop chance, probably going to be about 10. Uh, you are going to need to bring a bucket for water, 50 rune or pure essence, but you know, rune is a little bit more cost efficient if you're buying these. I would also recommend, obviously, food, armor, and a weapon. Did I already say that? Yeah, I probably did. Oh well, okay, well I repeated myself. Awesome. As well as if you want to, if you have the high magic level, or high enough magic level for it, some runes to teleport to Varrock, because it kind of saves a little bit of time. Anyway, part of the quest takes here, in Varrock Castle, go over here to the temple. And the little area here too. So that's pretty much well the areas that the quest you're gonna have to worry about. I would... One of my friends tried telling me that they actually tried to use Pure S, but he wouldn't take it, so you may just want to get Rune Essence just in case that is true and you cannot use Pure with this. So there you go. So let's talk to King World. Sure! So now we go to the temple. So knock on the large door. World sent me to check on Drizzle. Sure. So we're gonna go just north here into the catacomb. And kill a doggy. Bad doggy. Okay, now that we've killed the dog, we go back to King World. If you need to walk there, please pause the video and begin playing it again once you've reached the square. What a jerk! Anyway, you heard him. Let's get back to the temple and this time get inside. Hopefully. So open it and go upstairs. So right click, talk through Zelda. Tell me anyway. Sure.
So we're going to go downstairs and we're going to kill level 30 mage monk things until we get what we want. So now that we have the golden key, remember where we killed that mutt? We need to go there and do some stuff. So let's go down the trap door. So let's start studying these monuments. It's going to be the last one I check. Watch. Just watch. Oh my god. Hey look it was. Doink. Okay now before you guys are wondering why I have a bucket of water and I'm missing the key now. It's because I should have done this when I was down here initially. But use your empty bucket on this well right here it'll give you a bucket of water when you get back upstairs to the monk um, that's trapped use the key on the door and that will unlock the door and remove it for your inventory so that's yeah I guess I should have done that that will save you a little bit of time if you do it this way as opposed to the way that I was stupid and did it at but when you have both the key and the bucket of water go back and help the guy Talk through cell door. So open the cell. Give him the water. Hey, fine. Open the cell and talk to him. Use it on the coffin. And talk through. Well, that wasn't confusing. So let's head back down all the way downstairs um, where the dog is, where we got the water, there's a room just to the east of it and that's where he's going to be waiting for us. Let's speak to him. So you must bring them to him unnoted. So this is going to take a little bit. I'm going to run to the bank. This is going to take two trips to bring him all 50 unnoted rune essence. Fun. Here's the first batch. And time for the second.
Yay! Congratulations, you've completed Priest in Peril. Or Feet in Peril. One quest point, 1,406 prayer XP, the Wolfbane Dagger, and the Root to Canifus. Now the thing with the dagger is, if you wield it when you're killing the townsfolk, um, in Canifus, I know I said that weird, they will not be able to keep to hold their um, their werewolf form, so they'll be easier to kill. So there you go. Congratulations. Enjoy your whole new other area to go look at, and I will talk to you later. Ciao for now.